And then... <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Quadria Marie. We're just getting started tonight with the professor, <laughs> Scott Valentine. I'm going to add him to uh, the conversation. So just give me one second. Hey, you guys. Happy Monday. Scott is in the house. <laughs> Can you guys hear us? Can you see us well? Done. Scott, are you there? Okay. So I can't watch you on Facebook. I have to watch you from the video. Okay. okay. <laughs> so now we're on the same timing. Yes. So you there? I want to make sure you're okay, that you're set. Yep. Okay. Hey, what's up, Teddy? Thank you for joining tonight. We're just getting started to give you guys a few minutes to join us on the show. Let's see. Got you in. So, Scott, you can hear me? You can hear me clear and everything? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just fixing this up the right way. Um. Okay, that's good. Okay. Is there a way you can join the video some way so people can see you? Maybe through your, um, your phone would be good. Oh, man. It's like an old man. How do I do that? <laughs> you got all that technology. You know how to do all that. <laughs> What's up? Thank you, guys. We're just um, giving Scott a few minutes to see if he can join so we can see see his head. I'm actually watching him on the computer screen, but I want you guys to be able um, to see him as well because I know how you guys like to interact with us. It's nice to be able to as well as being able to hear them. So I think I'm adding him now um, to the, the Facebook Live. And, yes, we are live right now. Scott, Right. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> Let me turn it off the other the other room. Okay, okay. there we go. That feedback. <laughs> yeah. We did up? it. <laughs> Finally, we hey. made it. <laughs> we made it. Thanks for having me. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, me and uh Mr. Scott Valentine, we go way back. I don't even know if I should say how far back. Because I'm supposed to still be 25. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm still 25, whatever year that was. So I don't oh, even yeah. know if I want to go into how long, you know, you and I have, uh, you know, known each other. But it's, we're 90s babies. So I'll, I'll put it like that. So <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long time. And, you know, I've been, you know, I've been following you, you know, be before you were even doing the real estate thing. So I wanted to have you on the show because I like having like-minded people on, people who are actually about their business, about helping people, helping um, the community out. And I've been noticing you've been doing a lot of that. So I wanted to have you on for tonight so I can, you know, support you as well. So how you been? How you been doing? I'm great. I, um, I have to say that I love watching your talks because you inspired me to do anything. Oh. You are like the happiest person oh, ever, no matter what you go through. So every yeah, time I watch your videos, I'm inspired. Yeah. I just wanted to say that. Oh, man. You know, you're going to get up, get me all. <laughs> I'm already sweating out my edges and stuff. I'm be crying next. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate, you know, you saying that because that's one of my goals. I always try to motivate people, you know, inspire them. Sometimes I can get too personal about stuff, but I realize that me sharing what I'm going through does, you know, help, you know, other people. And when I don't know something about, you know, subject or topic, I like to bring other people on and 
real estate, you know, is something that I do have, you know, an interest in, but I'm not the expert, <laughs> you know, I'm just looking, you know, from the outside in. So that's why I wanted you, um, you know, to come on tonight. So how did you get started into, into real estate professor? <laughs> funny. Um, it's funny. What's up, Sammy? What's up? <laughs> Wait, I've always been interested in, in real estate. I started a lot mother. So we try to buy mm -hmm. cheap houses and try to sell them for, you know, a low price that's affordable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we never flipped anything. We just tried to sell and buy as much as possible. And then right. I actually saw that I, I love the business. You know, I wanted to get into it full steam. So then I mm -hmm. went ahead, got my license, and now mm -hmm. sky's the limit the way I see it. Now, how long have you been in the actual real estate business yourself? So it's been a few years now. I started with my mom mm -hmm. years ago. Long wow, time. I didn't even know your mom. Shout out to um, Miss <laughs> Miss K. <Kay. laughs> Miss K, yeah. Miss K, oh my God, long, long time. Yeah, definitely a long time. I didn't know that she was involved till just now, until you just mentioned it. Yes, she actually got me started. We went to, wow. you don't hear these seminars of how to get rich quick schemes and all that nonsense. Right, so we, started, right. we started doing our research and uh, we, we looked into it and mm -hmm. we put together our, kind of our, our own program and we started there. We started wow. small and grew and grew slowly, but, you know, mm -hmm. we, we didn't go full force until recently. So, uh, you know, I'm happy that wow. the way we, we actually grew because if we jumped mm -hmm. right into it, we would have lost everything, you know? So what do you mean actually grow into it? You started off in one area and then jumped into another? So, I mean, a lot of people, when they, you hear these people, uh, they, when they have these get rich quick, like forums, and they want, right. to, want you to pay a yep. lot of money, you go to those and they just end up, you know, taking your money and running with it. Sure but, I do. Yeah. <laughs> what you can do is... <laughs> You're not the only one. It's happened to a lot I know of that. <laughs> But what you can do is, you know, you can get out. There's a lot of investors of events that you yeah. can join and just show yeah. up to and talk to investors. Investors, they won't give you their secrets, but they will tell you their experiences. And mm -hmm. their experiences might be worth more than their secrets. So That's true. Out. That's a good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So how, did, how, did, how did you join um, Culture Estate? How did, how did that come about? <laughs> it's a story. So I've always so, been like, mm -hmm. in love with real estate. And mm. I, would, I had the tech background. So I was getting to a point in the tech background where I was like, you know what? I'm not fulfilled right now. I was mm. working jobs, doing contracts, you know, making decent money. But I, I didn't love it anymore. And I found mm. myself, I had my son. And I was working yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah. Working so much. I was like, man, I, I really want to be home and be able to see my son grow. Yes. So I, that's so you know, important. The time with your yes. child overrides you know all the money that you can make yeah for sure so i think this career path has worked out for me in many ways so the like the schedule works out for you when you're able to spend time with your son and your family yes right now it took, yes. it took a while i have to right. admit it took me a while mm -hmm. i do work a lot but that's by choice I right that's have true. a five-year plan and hopefully yeah you guys heard what he said right <laughs> Hey, you gotta have that plan. Once you have that plan, yeah. you gotta follow it. <laughs> now, well, that's the other part of it. You can, you know, all day. Well, the hardest part is actually coming up with the plan. That's the first thing, and then of course the second yeah. part is part is sticking to the plan. You Definitely. know, that's that's where people tend to fail at. So yeah, sticking to the plan is very yeah. difficult sometimes. <laughs> What's Especially up, you guys? Thank you guys for joining again tonight. We have a few viewers coming on. Hey, a few buddies of mine have joined. Sandra yeah, from that's Brooklyn. right. That's that's how you're supposed to do. You have to show support because it's necessary. Definitely, I love this. This this is good. This is uplifting. Right now. For <laughs> now, Monday how did you night, get the name Professor? Now, because I know people are curious about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny I'm because like, who I think he is Professor. <laughs> I actually was a teacher for a little while. Yeah. So it kind of followed me. So. When I am doing deals, I right. kind of like to take things slow and methodical, like a teacher mm -hmm. would. So I'm like, hey, you're teaching me. You're taking me to school. You're the professor. I'm like, oh, okay. Wow. Right. 
Well, you're educating people because I, I know it's on your on your Instagram and we're going to talk about that later, how people can follow you. But I noticed that as far as your your tips, you are educating the community because people really don't know much about real estate. You know, we hear the, we hear the term all the time, like you said, as far as all these forums and classes and things, but no one actually really knows as much as they think they know. Because I know I don't know. I think I be knowing stuff. And <laughs> I talk to someone who's an actual agent and, or a broker, and it's like a totally different, um, you know, mindset. Yeah. It's, it's like there's so much to learn. Like people would tell me, okay, if you want to get into real estate, don't think that it's something you're going to learn within, you know, a week or two. You know, they always, you know, advise me it's going to take time for you to learn different, you know, markets and what's going on, you know, as far as, you know, the housing and apartments. And it's, you know, it's, it's a lot, though, but people are doing it. So obviously it's possible to learn. You just have to have, I guess, the patience and, you know, the will to actually, yeah. you know, be successful in it. Yes, and then you know have to listen to you every day talk so you can inspire us <laughs> so we can keep going. Don't be now, don't be putting that pressure on me now. <laughs> Sandra says, still learning so I can be like you. That's what she's talking, saying back to you, Scott. <laughs> no, she's, she's a great agent. Yeah. So just just talk to us a little bit as far as like the current estate in New Jersey, being that we're New Jersey residents. Just like a general idea of what's going on right now. So right now we know the interest rates are rising, mm. which is a big deal because that affects the amount of money that you can spend on a home because the interest will take more of mm. it. So as the interest rates yeah. rise, the money that you can afford to buy a home decreases. So now mm. you have people hurrying to buy homes because of the in increase of the interest rates. Wow. I'm sure a lot of people aren't aware of that. Well, I guess they are if they are, you know, house hunting. Yeah. But that's not something you should rush into. It's not. Definitely take your time. And, um, mm -hmm. You have to make sure it's the right time for you to buy a home. Because once you buy a home, you're pretty much stuck for a while. Well, yeah. Once you buy it, you can't just sell it the next day. Yeah. The chances are you're not going to be able to. You know, a lot of right. transactions take at least 45 days. So you mean literally once you sign the papers, you can't get out of it? It's very hard. It's very wow. hard to get out of it. Yeah, oh. So you have to make sure oh, we you're have... ready. <laughs> we have a question here from Garmalin. He said, DJ Vlad and Matthew Knowles said renting is better than home ownership. Is this true? Yeah. I would have to wonder, I don't <laughs> even really know question, why they would say that. Yeah. It depends who you are. Um, you know, if you don't have the down payment for a home, it's right. easier to rent. But if you think about mm -hmm. it, right now I have a few four bedrooms for rent in Elizabeth that are going for seventeen hundred. Wow. That's a mortgage. Right. So right. I don't know what's better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It really depends right. on your situation, mm -hmm. and you know how much you want to spend, and do you want to make an investment, or do you want to spend some money, pay for somebody else's rent? Or pay for somebody else's mortgage. Right. Yeah, because like you said, seventeen hundred, that's a mortgage right there. Mortgage, Instead yeah. of you know, apartment. And a lot of people are struggling with that because they would like to be homeowners, but they you know, they, their credit is bad or they have all these negative, you know, factors on their credit that they don't feel like they can go out and ever, you know, purchase a home. So instead of preparing themselves, they just continuously, you know, rent. So do you feel it's possible even, you know, if you don't have the best credit that you still have, you know, a chance to be able to purchase a home for a fair price? Definitely. The, speak to any loan officer. I work with a few different loan officers right. that have amazing mm -hmm. programs. Some programs you need no money down. Some programs okay. your credit rate is not a factor. But speak to loan officers and always see what, pro what programs they have offered right now. Because sometimes, you know, they're giving away loans. Just depends on who you talk to and when. <laughs> if you're hungry, you can find something. I'm sure. Well, because I'm I'm renting myself, but you know, as you know, I'm a you know I live alone, so it's like every every you know responsibility is on me, and it's like one day I would like to get a house, be it by myself or you know hopefully a spouse, and I think about stuff like that. Do I have to have 850 credit? Do I have to have you know be making so much money and 
just to be able to live in a home. So I think about, you know, stuff like that as well. And then it kind of holds me back because I'm worrying, oh, that's going to be too much of an expense. But then renting, I feel like it's taking all my money. Like, I feel like it's going into somebody else's mm -hmm. pocket. Yeah, it happens. And I don't it like that. <laughs> you don't like that. <laughs> you know, I, I, don't, I don't like it no more. Me no like it. So <laughs> <laughs> because I see people, you know, doing, you know, real estate and I, I see them going out and purchasing other people's homes and apartments. And I'm like, this is something that, you know, as you and I talked about that I would like to do. But it's like I've never owned myself. So I have those questions in my head. Well, how can I purchase other homes that I haven't lived and purchased, you know, my own home first. So I always thought it'd be a smart idea to go and purchase my own home just so I can, you know, know what it entails, what owning a home is. So it can be a lot, but believe it or not, yeah. you, you learn a lot about owning a home by looking for homes. When you're That's going to different homes, yeah, you see you see different things. You what you like, see what you don't like. You see what mm -hmm. needs maintenance, what doesn't need maintenance. Wow, oh, that's something. Yeah, you learn a lot just by looking at different homes. And you go to homes all the time, because I know you have open houses. <laughs> it's like, you guys, this is like every other day, this man is going to open house. I'm like texting him what's going on. He's like, I'm I have an open house today. I'm just like, go ahead, make that money. <laughs> I'm trying to be like you. That's it. <laughs> and I know it's crazy, you know, the scheduling open houses, but it's better to have an open house than not have one. So, yes. Yes, that's true. So people are actually out here looking for homes. Oh, for sure. The market is hot right now. Wow. Um, okay. Houses don't last. If a house is priced right, it will sell. You know, so right now is a good time if you're a seller. What's, what's, a, good, what's a good price range now? Like if you're looking.